The key to growing your business and your revenue comes from a pipeline full of prospects you can convert into happy customers. But before any of this can happen, your future customers have to find you. And where does everyone go to literally find anything? Google. Hey, I'm Isaiah Rondoria with Podium, and today I'll teach you how to maintain a strong presence on Google. Let's talk shop. Before we hop into building your Google business profile, let's talk a little bit about them. These profiles help local businesses like yours stand out online. That includes your location, your reviews, everything customers need to know about you all in one place. All so you can make a great first impression. Google business profiles used to be called Google My Business, but with the new name comes more options and a simpler way to manage your listing. No more web interface or mobile app management issues. You can adjust your listing right on Google Search or on Google Maps. I call that a win-win. And I can't stress enough how important Google business profiles are, but I'm sure gonna try. If you wanna be easily found, if you wanna be chosen by more customers, if you want more of those elusive five-star reviews, it all starts here because how your business shows up on Google determines who shows up at your business. In fact, 75% of all online clicks go to the top three Google search results. Okay, I think you get it. Google business profiles are essential. So let's build one. You're going to start by going to google.com slash business. Here, you can either log into your existing Google business account or create a new one. Then select Start Now and add all the details for your business. Now, onto the overview header. Think of this as a quick snapshot of your business that highlights what's most important for potential customers. Everything you add here should be clear, concise, and most importantly, accurate. And now, let's get into all the ingredients of a standout overview header, starting with photos. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, in this case, businesses that use imagery receive 35% more clicks than those that don't. So make sure you use the highest quality pictures you can find. Photos of your location, products or services, and even your teams work great here. Next is your name. Make sure there are no abbreviations, no variations. Write your name exactly as it is in all other online locations. This not only decreases confusion, but keeps your SEO working to its fullest potential. From the iconic swoosh and yellow double arches to that familiar piece of fruit with a small bite missing, you can instantly recognize a business just from their logo. It acts as a visual reminder of who you are and why people should buy from you. Google also has a bunch of different call to action buttons you can use on your profile. These buttons help customers do everything from getting directions, to contacting you, to saving your business as a favorite, and so much more. If you thought the buttons were cool, you're gonna love this next piece. The business description is your way to make your business stand out on the internet in 750 characters or less. Keep this straight and to the point. Stay away from sales pitches and anything promotional. Your customers will thank you for it. Speaking of customers, the review section gives a quick peek into an aggregate of all your reviews. The more five-star reviews and glowing positive feedback, the better. Your customers will also wanna see if you offer some common amenities and features, or as Google likes to call them, attributes. You can add things like Wi-Fi, free parking, pet friendly, and more. In the same vein, service options are a way for you to highlight all of the wonderful things your customers can't get enough of. This includes delivery, curbside pickup, no contact delivery, and more. Once you've added everything, you'll just need to submit your listing for verification and voila, you've just created your very own Google business profile. Now that your profile is built, there are a couple key ways to make your business more attractive. Work hard to deliver an experience that people will review highly. You can write the most amazing business profile in the world, but if it comes with a bunch of negative reviews, you'll be in trouble. Keep all of your info relevant and current. You can use the most important keywords, but only if they fit naturally. If you try to game the system, Google may call it spam, 
and nobody likes spam. We touched on high res, high quality photos earlier, but I'm going to throw out some more numbers to really drive the point home. Listings with photos get 42% more driving direction requests from Google Maps and 35% more clicks through to your website. But not all photos are created equal. Most customers will be on their phones, so make sure those photos are sized accordingly. And finally, keep your hours of operations up to date. Customers always want to know if and when you're open. If you change your hours for holidays or have different hours on different days, make sure to include that. There's nothing worse than arriving at a business only to find out that their hours were inaccurate. Okay, so we came, we saw, we talked Google business profiles. I'd give you a pop quiz, but that'd just be mean. And I want you to come back for my next video. So instead, how about a little recap? Your Google business profile is the best way to make a stellar first impression for customers online. Take the time to build yours properly and it'll pay off. If anything about your business changes, be sure that's reflected in your profile. Add high quality photos, please. And as a young Kevin Costner once said, if you build it, they will come. Even though the internet hadn't even been invented yet when he said it, I'm pretty sure deep down, he was talking about Google business profiles. Our series is just getting started, so give all of the other videos a watch too. Thanks for talking shop. I'll see you next time.